Hello everyone and welcome to a Wolf College of Coffee. My name is Peter Wolf and what's this bit? Well, we are talking about solenoid valves and firstly we need to understand that there are two types of solenoid valves. Uh, and the first one is a two-way solenoid valve and we have a three-way solenoid valve. I'll talk about the two-way first. Uh, so the two-way solenoid valve um, is, is fairly simple. Uh, it has um, really two functions that either turns the water on or turns the water off. Uh, and can be typically found that allows the cold water into the machine, so uh, in, off and on, and then also on your hot water tap, uh, that it will also turn your hot water tap on or off. Um, it is one directional, so the water will only move in one direction, um, and it will come in and out. So that is what a two-way solenoid is. The three-way solenoid valve is typically found on your group heads, um, and you can know that you know this one is slightly different because you can see it has a longer uh, threaded end on it, and this is typically where the expansion valve uh, will sit on. Uh, these are normally fixed uh, to um, the, you know somewhere on the group head, either on the top or the side or the, or, or down below. Um, they do come apart, um, and there are really, I guess, three main. Uh, pieces to, a, uh, to the solenoid valve. Quite simply, you just need to take the screw off the top, wind it off, um, and then basically what it will do, it will take off the coil, which is this black bit on the top here, um, and that's the part that's connected to the electricity. So it is very important that you turn off the power before you disconnect these. Uh, you may end up risking damaging the coil. Uh, then you're left with basically, uh, I guess, the mounting block, and then you've got the valve itself or the valve stem. This uh, will come off with a shifter, and then inside it what we have is a little, uh, a little valve itself, a little plunger, and this is loaded on the spring, and this sort of has a valve and a seat on the inside, and this is what comes up and down and allows the water to pass in and out. So this is like similar to what like a little tap is, and this is what basically the coil is doing. It's controlling this electronically via a magnet, open, close, open, close. Now in terms of fault finding, it's a really simple diagnosis that if the machine, for example, doesn't turn on, or sorry, the water doesn't turn on or the water doesn't turn off, or the water may stay on open or it doesn't close off, then typically speaking it's the coil and this needs to come out and be replaced. And that's quite simply done, as I said, by removing the screws, replacing the coil, screwing it back down to the valve stem and then uh, reconnecting the uh, electricity to it. If you're finding, for example, that the water uh, is, and you're getting a slight little drip, or a constant sort of flow, then typically means that you need to get inside and have a look at the, the plunger inside uh, the valve. And that's this little guy here. Uh, and that may be because of there's some calcification. Um, so when the valve tries to close back down, it's not getting a proper seal, so it's slightly ajar. So there may be some, uh, some lime buildup or some calcification that needs to be removed in that. Um, so you either can give that a good clean out or this will just need to be simply replaced um, because of wear and tear over time. Uh, so that's basically what a solenoid valve does in your espresso machine. Uh, continue to subscribe. Uh, any questions, uh, anything you'd like to know, what's this bit about, please drop them down below. And thank you for watching, I'm Peter Wolf.